Hey, morning everyone. So I'm out here testing out the teleconverter. Uh, I'll show you on how it looks like the RF to X teleconverter. So I've done something crazy. Uh, okay, I've got hold of the. This is the RF to X extender, uh, which is meant for RF mount lens, which is for this uh, 100 to 400 mm. So what happened is when I mount it on, uh, it become F16 for that because it's F8 at 400mm. So what happened is the other problem is not the F16, is when you mount this on, the viewfinder, the focusing area become just a small box in the center as you are using the RF 600mm and the RF 800mm same issue you get a small box in the center so I was pretty peeved with that because none of the reviewers I've seen mentioned this or showed that box uh, around so I was pretty upset in terms of that I don't get my full focusing area which seems doesn't make sense that you know there's no reason why you can't get that uh, so let me show you what else I did uh, because of that uh, I've got hold of another adapter for EF lens to RF so this is the com light why did I change the com light because I have another adapter which is the with the drop-in filter but uh, com light has a very unique adapter is that their adapter doesn't have any protrusion uh, around this circle you can see is clear the only protrusion is at this area right so this is the reason why i got hold of this uh it's pretty good price so managed to get hold of it and uh what happens is i wanted to mount the two times teleconverter in and it won't go in because this portion is uh slightly thicker uh, than this diameter right so the diameter here is fine but this diameter is not to this uh, protrusion diameter so what happened is you need to get a file so this is the file that I got this is a, a semi-circle file and you file this zone out so you file as much as possible to get it as thin as possible to the edge right so you file both sides from there and here you file it right but you've got to be careful with the pins but it's no problem so after filing clean it up once you get the right diameter um this can go in you can see now uh what happens when i put this in and it locks very tightly because it's exactly that diameter so the tightness is there and what happens it allows me to use this rf 2x extender with EF lenses not only for my birding that means this is a 300mm uh, f4 it becomes a 600mm f8 right I am able to use it with my macro lens so this will give me additional zoom capability in terms of telefocal closer to the uh, subject right closer to the box so we we'll get to do many things with this so what happened is i used to have the ef teleconverter it was a bit slow on this but when i switch to this uh it's faster and it's more it seems to be brighter rather than getting a dark uh, aperture it's good with this so this is one of the best i've i've used many teleconverters i've been getting teleconverters all this while but this is one of the best uh, fastest and clearest teleconverter i've ever uh, used uh, and it works well on the ef lens so what happened is now i have a macro lens that is uh, pretty heavy because this thing is really heavy but at least i'm getting the two times magnification so you can see if i use it with the 300 mm So it becomes like this and it becomes a 600 mm f8 you're not gonna get a, a 600 mm f8 uh, right so at this kind of price 
So what happens is when uh, let me show you what happens when I put the RF and the EF the difference. Let's put the uh, 600 mm first, and we will show you the difference in terms of the focusing. Okay, as you can see now, I'm getting the full box of uh focusing area, right? So I can control my area here. So I'm getting the full autofocus area. So we're going to test it out uh, outdoors. But let me show you the difference between this, which is full, and what if I change it to the RF, right? So that's how it looks like if it's full. And this is my zones I can adjust. So what happened in the RF, it will show up a box like that in the center. So let me switch over and show you the difference. Okay, so you can see the box, right? So in the RF, once you do the two times teleconverter to this 100 and 400, you, you look at that. That's my focusing area. I don't have any other zone. So if I press my zones, you'll get stuck there and it's in there. There's no all the way to the edge, right? So you just stuck with it. So that's the bad thing about this uh, RF teleconverter, the uh, two times extender from Canon. When it mounts to RF lens, it just becomes like the RF 600 and RF 800. It just box up there. So this is very annoying to me. But uh, I get the full width when I'm using the EF lens. So let's go out and do some shoots. So you look at the how I adapted it to my lenses. So I'm going to shoot out on the macro as well as as uh, 300 mm. Let's try with the macro first. I'll show you a difference whether with and without the teleconverter on the macro lens. So this is half size, uh, 50 mm. Looks good. That's the size that you see is half size. So let's put in the teleconverter and see what size we're getting. Okay, now this is with the teleconverter on the macro lens. Let's see what I get. Uh, let's zoom in first to manual focus and see the size. Whoa, it's much bigger. Okay, anyway, this is the size difference you can see, right? So let's get to the angle where you can see it. That's the size and that this one is without. This is half time and then this is with the two times teleconverter. Look at the, the size difference. Okay, so this is how it looks like uh, with the RF2X with the com light uh, adapted to EF lens. So this is a modified com light, which is uh, then only you can use the RF. So let's take some photos. Today is not a very good day. It's very cloudy and been raining. But uh, let's see what the photos come out. So to test whether this RF is much sharper. I've been testing it indoors and it seems to be much sharper than the EF. Uh, 2x3 version so let's have some photos from here so the exif uh, file won't read uh, f8 it will just read f4 at 300 mm but by right this is uh, 600 mm at f8 so not a very good day to shoot some photos but then there's some birds up there let's try to get hold of them so tracking works because I'm getting the full width, not just stuck to one angle. So this is way much better than uh, just the square box in the center, right? Okay, this dark forest part. Let's see if we can get hold of. Oh, the boo boo. Okay, the boo boo's ended there. So let's bring it down the shutter speed. Tracking the eye, 
yeah looks good tracking everything looks good i'm pleased to announce that this is a winner combination and uh, i can shoot in the forest right so with low light not bad so this rf 2x tc is the best in the market now definitely way better than the previous tc's uh, i've been using tc's uh, since i started uh, photography which everyone says don't use but uh, i have no problem with them but this one is beats all of them it's very sharp so do try it out if you happen to have one uh, and then you can convert with your ef lens to try out so i do hope you like the video i'm <laughs> playing around with this I'm gonna put up uh, all the photos that i took and then uh, do give me a thumbs up if you like the video and do th try this uh, hack yourself and uh, with your own lens so I like this EF300 F4 lens it's one of the best lens which I can take close up with macro and things like that uh, compared to the 400 EF 400 EF is sharper but this one is more fun this is more flexible so do give me a thumbs up I'll see you on the next video have a nice day bye